where's the line in the sand? Where do the American people draw a line in the sand and say, hey, we can read these words on this uh, Constitution, this Bill of Rights. We can read them. We understand them. They're in very, you know, uh, uh, understandable words. And we just say enough's enough. So where's the line? I would say most Americans have never read those words in the first place, so they probably aren't drawing that's any kind point. of line. That's my point. And that's what this Common Core BS is all about. Is because, it? Uh, well, Common Core, anything that has any – whenever the government gets involved in our, in our, uh, our uh, education and stuff, then you know you're not going to learn what you need to learn. So then by all because about it, you kind of, mean it's about not teaching those, uh, those things. Not teaching those things. Absolutely. Gotcha. They, well, uh, this would be so much more of a stronger country if, if our schools taught us – emphatically uh, all about the Constitution. And they told us what our rights were, and we, we, we had discussions in classrooms. That'd but be you great. Don't see this in these but schools. the government's not interested in that now, are they? Why right? would they be? I mean, the fact exactly. is right, rights are contrary to states as we understand them. So, yeah. um, I mean, I'm not saying that we need no government. What I'm saying is, is that... Uh, I'll say that. Uh, okay, well, I, I would I would use different we terminology. We need no state. We need right. no government we, we, as we know it. Right. I mean, you know, what we have today is this mechanism for governing people, This, this these organizations. These organizations were passed down to us through the master-servant paradigm. Of course they don't want rights for you because, yeah. you know, the rights exist with the organization is how they see it. And that's my point. That's my point. Straight up, right there. That tells you straight up that your government is not for you, the people. The government's for them. The government's for the government exactly. and their friends. It, it, it's, I mean, it's for the people. Kind of clue. It's for the people. <laughs> if the people want to control and fleece and milk the other people, then it's absolutely for those people. The government is for a group of people, and I'm, and it, it tends to change at any given but time. It's not us. It's, it's never not it's never you and I. It gen generally Mark it doesn't really change. I mean it, the the uh, the people change out but the the government's always for the politically connected. I mean it's you know the big corporations fund both sides. The big banks for instance give money to both the Republicans and the Democrats. So whoever wins exactly. we lose. And as far as your question Andy I'd like to address that specifically about the line in the sand. Uh that I mine was crossed years ago. So I moved to New Hampshire mine as too. As part of the Free State Project, because I understand that in order to actually stand up for rights and to be free in my life, I have to get together with other people who value the same exactly. things that, that I value. So I joined the Free State Project, which is a movement basically full of libertarians that is converging on one physical geographic area. I've moved from Florida. People have moved from as far away as Russia to come to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project because our lines were crossed. You know, my line was crossed more than a decade and a, and a half ago. Uh, and so I wanted to get together with other people who have the same ideas and, and it's working here. We're actually able to stand up for freedom here in a much more effective way because of our concentrated numbers. Uh, we can't wait for all of the Americans to, or even a portion of them, to wake up and to get clued into what their rights are and to you know take action, exactly. uh, we've got to do we've got to do something more active than that. And I think the Free State Project is really our best choice. Well, at least my friends, you guys are doing something because there's so many people out there not doing a darn thing it's about true. what's going on, and they just don't care. Yep, <laughs> it's crazy. Thanks for the call, Andy. I appreciate it, night. and I share your concerns. Right. Thanks for the call tonight. Uh, so, if you want to check out the Free State Project, if you love liberty. If you want to control other people, this is not the project for you. If you if you think freedom's kind of cool, but you also think there's other areas where people should be controlled, you're not ready for the Free State Project yet. If you believe in liberty, if you think that your neighbors should be as free as you are, that in order to be free, you have to allow other people to be free. If you really understand what liberty means, what freedom is all about, then you really need to go and check out the Free State Project. It's currently at 89% of its goal. The goal of the Free State Project is to find 20,000 people who are willing to sign their pledge, their statement of intent. Uh, that is basically says that you'll move to New Hampshire once the number of 20,000 signers is reached. There's a five-year window of time in which you have to make that move, and then you'll be as active as you possibly can towards achieving liberty in our lifetime once you get here. Whatever active means to you. Some people write— Could be uh, writing letters to the editor. could be doing behind-the-scenes technical uh, work. could be organizing. It could be you know civil disobedience. It could be running for political office. There's all kinds of different things that uh, that are activist. And what I'd recommend if you're not sure about this whole thing, like you know, you're not sure if we're telling you the truth about it, go check out the uh, 101 Reasons 
Liberty Lives in New Hampshire. It's 101 Reasons. It's a reasons. great movie anyway. It's awesome. Uh, it's a, it'll only take an hour of your time. And it's it's so chock full of information. It could actually be overwhelming to watch it all straight through. You can actually just watch it in chunks if you want to. 101reasonsfilm.com. Gives you the 101 reasons why we thought New Hampshire was the, the best choice and why there are now over 1,500 people who've moved early. We didn't wait. We didn't want to wait until 20,000. We've moved sooner rather than later to get the ball rolling, and it was so worth it. I'm so glad that we did, but it's certainly not too late for you to get involved. Go to freestateproject.org.